Welcome back to Sewing Club, friends. Today we are going to learn all about fabric. You, at this point, probably have a pretty good idea of stitches, finishing your seams, threading your needle, and maybe you're ready to create something really cool. So, I'm going to teach you all of the basics of what you need to know about fabric to have the most success at that. All right, let's get started. All right, so what you need to know about fabric is that there are two main types. You have, okay, what you need to know about fabric is that there are two main types. You have wovens and knits. We'll start with knits. You've probably heard of knitting before, and things like your t-shirts, maybe leggings, are gonna be made out of knit fabrics. Knit fabrics are really stretchy. They're not the best for hand sewing, so maybe steer clear uh, until you have some more experience. If you look really closely at a knit fabric, you might see these little ridges in here that actually look like it was knitted. That's because it is. The really cool thing about knit fabrics, besides the fact that they uh, are stretchy, is that they don't unravel or fray, which is really cool. But as I said, they're not great for hand sewing, so you probably wanna steer clear of these for a while. The fabric that we're going to be using most of the time is called woven. It's because it is woven. It'll be, you'll know it's woven because there are little threads that go up and down and side to side. You can really tell on a plaid fabric like this because you have, these sort of golden threads that go this way and the sort of blue ones that go this way and you can see where they cross over. Woven fabrics typically don't stretch. Sometimes they'll have a little bit of spandex in it, but usually they don't. One really, one really cool thing about woven fabrics is that if you pull them this way, they're not gonna stretch. And if you pull them this way, they're not gonna stretch. But if you pull them on the diagonal, we call it the bias, they do stretch a bit. Now that's really cool and useful in some things, but what you need to know is that you need to always cut things really straight or they're gonna stretch out in ways you don't want it to. So we're gonna always cut on the straight of grain. It's really easy to tell on fabrics like plaids or stripes because you just follow the lines. But if you're working on a fabric like this, this is an old pair of pajama pants that I cut up to make masks. You maybe can't tell where the straight of grain is. Depending on the fabric, maybe you can see by the lines. But if you can't, here's one really neat trick. If you slit the fabric a little bit here and you pull it, it's gonna rip. And it's gonna rip along one of those threads. So now you have your straight of grain. So if you're taking an old piece of clothing that you don't use anymore or that someone in your house doesn't use anymore and you want to find where the straight of grain is, you can rip it and you can figure out where those threads go. And you can see this fabric is starting to fray, which is another reason why it's really important when you're working with woven fabrics that you finish them properly so that your <clears throat> edges don't unravel when you're using something or washing it. If you're really lucky and someone took you fabric shopping at a fabric store or online, you'll get a new piece of fabric that might look like this. Before you work with fabric, always make sure you wash and dry it because things with cotton or natural fibers in them will shrink in the dryer. And you don't wanna make something that's the perfect size only to have it shrink on you. So after you've washed and dried your fabric the way you're going to after your thing is made, take a look at it. You'll notice that there's an edge on one side that looks a little different. Often there's a sort of stripe with no color, or there'll be little squares or circles of color with numbers in them. And it's also woven a bit differently. If you feel it, it feels a bit different and the edge isn't gonna fray. This is called the selvage edge. And this shows you where the straight of grain is. This is where they cut the fabric at the fabric store. And this is the selvage edge. So if you are making something from scratch at home, you'll be using this edge to guide you, which is the straight. One last thing you need to know if you're cutting out a new project on your own and you're kind of going on your own, you're not using a pattern, is you have to take into account your seam allowance. The seam allowance is the extra fabric on the edge of a seam that you use to sew. So this is where my seam is here and on the edge I have about a half an inch of seam allowance. So when you're making something, if you want your bag to be exactly five centimeters wide, you need to add an extra centimeter on each side to have space to sew. So always make sure you cut just a little bit bigger than you need. 
We're gonna make our next project, which is a drawstring bag. Uh, and I'm gonna give you exact dimensions on how to do all of that. All right, if you're feeling confident, you're ready to go to the next video all about how to make your drawstring bag. One more thing you need to know about fabric is that there is a right side and a wrong side. Those are the sewing terms we use for explaining the good side that you want to see and the bad side. Not all fabrics have a right side and a wrong side, but most do, and you need to pay attention to that.